If anyone ever asked, who do you think the richest person in history was? Don't be quick to invoke the almighty Jeff Bezos or his recent sidekick, Bill Gates, cause both answers are wrong. While these individuals definitely have insane amount of wealth that they have accrued over the years, their fortune pales when compared to the amount of wealth other individuals in history were able to gather. By wealth, we mean buy your favorite billionaire's entire net worth 10 times over kind of wealth. Some of these individuals existed as far back as a few thousand years ago, while some are as recent as two centuries ago. But before we go into more detail, make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so that you never miss another video like this one. Now, the billion dollar question presents itself. Since Bill Gates and Jeff Bezos are not the richest men in history, who exactly was? We were able to gather a list of 10 people in no particular order that we feel were extremely wealthier and whose individual wealth paralyzed entire national economies. They are not arranged in a specific order, as it is hard to measure precisely the wealth of these historical figures. I'm sure even they were unaware of how much money they actually had. With that cleared, let us dive straight to the top 10 richest people in history. Number 10, Mansa Musa. Mansa Musa ruled the kingdom of Timbuktu, which is now modern day Mali in West Africa from around the year 1280 to 1337. During that time, historical scholars quantified his wealth as more than anyone could describe. Some even argue that he was actually the wealthiest of all time. While that is up for debate, there is no doubt that he was extraordinarily wealthy. Mansa Musa acquired his fortune by becoming the largest producer of gold in the world when gold was in very high demand. It is also impossible to draw an accurate amount of his wealth to our present currency because of a lack of records and also because even during his time, not even his colleagues can understand or measure his wealth. There are accounts of exploits, one of which was when he went on a pilgrimage to Mecca and spent so much that there was a currency crisis in the country. To simply put it, he spent so much gold that it became worthless in the country. His army consisted of around 200,000 men and 40,000 archers, numbers that are staggering even by today's standards. The truth is, there is no point in trying to measure Mansa Musa's wealth. Just know that he had enough gold to do anything he could ever want. Now that is some real ancient financial freedom. Number 9. Emperor Shenzong the next person on this list is an emperor named Shenzong, who ruled China from the year 1048 to 1085 AD. To help you understand just how immense his wealth was, he reigned one of the most economically advanced empires of all time, called the Song Dynasty. They practiced taxation systems that still surpassed modern day European economies. And at the time, China held 30% of the international wealth all the power of the Song Dynasty rested in the hands of the emperor, which made him immensely rich. Based on these facts, his net worth at the time was the equivalent of $30 trillion today. The Song Dynasty itself was a period that had come to term by historians as the term of peaceful prosperity that not only benefited the emperor, but also its masses, and has been considered as one of the most precursors for the modern day welfare states we now see in some European countries. Number eight, Alan Rufus. This list would be incomplete if it did not include a British royalty. Alan Rufus, also known as Alan the Red, lived in medieval England from the year 1040 to 1093 AD and was a French who emigrated to England to help his uncle, William the Conqueror, fight the Norman Conquest. His uncle graciously gifted him land for his efforts, and he was able to make a profit from all the land he was given. When he died, he left a fortune of about 11,000 euros, which was around 7% of England's GDP at the time, and today equates to a formidable $194 billion. This soldier was named the richest British man to ever live. Crazy, right? Number 7. Augustus Caesar Our next extremely rich individual on this list of the Roman Emperor, Augustus Caesar. The adopted son of the famous Julius Caesar, Augustus lived from 63 BC to 14 AD and had a net worth that stood at an unbelievable $4.8 trillion. It all boiled down to who was controlling the resources that existed at the time. 
and Emperor Augustus Caesar was not just controlling Rome, he was also in charge of some of the world's most powerful states, all of which fell under his empire. One of such states was Egypt, which at the time accounted for 25% of the world's economic output. According to historical scholars, there was a point in Augustus Caesar's life when he personally owned about one-fifth of the whole empire's economy, which explains why he was able to amass such trillions. Number 6. Akbar I Could there be a list of history's richest without including someone from India? The answer is no. So let me introduce to you Akbar I, emperor of India's Mughal dynasty, who lived from 1552 to 1605. He was a lover and a fighter who conquered huge vast swaths of territory and military campaigns and at the same time was a patron of the arts. Predictably, like almost every other ruler before, he had a hard time differentiating national wealth from personal wealth. At the peak of his reign, Akbar was worth a breath-stopping $21 trillion. However, under his rule, the Mughal dynasty extended to most of the Indian subcontinent and possessed around one-fourth of the world's economic output. Particularly known for its overly lavish lifestyle, Akbar and the elite class of India spent enough money in gold that it would make even the most spendthrift modern-age billionaire blush pink. Number 5. Joseph Stalin our next richest man is a very unlikely addition to the list, but also necessary. You can't ignore the power and wealth that absolute rulers enjoy. Joseph Stalin lived from 1878 to 1953 and was the dictator of the Soviet Union. With a total of a country whose GDP accounted for 9.6 of the global economic output, Stalin was an enormously wealthy figure. While it is easy to condemn his tyranny, you cannot ignore the fact that it was his actions that made the Soviet Union the only other economic superpower that could actually confront the USA. To equate the resources he controlled to modern day currency, it will total at an amount of $5 trillion. While he might not have had direct access to the money, he was still able to use it for anything he desired. Number four, Andrew Carnegie. Born in the United States and having lived from 1835 to 1919, the still giant Andrew Carnegie is just one of the most recognizable wealthy figures of our recent past. Arguably, richer than the famous John Rockefeller, he could very well be the wealthiest American of all time. In 1901, Carnegie sold his still company to J.P. Morgan for $480 million, the equivalent of 2.1% of the American GDP at the time. Converted to today's currency, it would be a business deal worth $372 billion. Carnegie left very little of his immense wealth for his children, and he strongly believed that the responsibility of the wealthy was to help the less endowed. He even wrote a book that revolved around this idea. Today, there is hardly anything left of his wealth, but his beliefs are still reflected in the way modern day billionaires have adopted philanthropy. Number three, John D. Rockefeller. This massively popular John D. Rockefeller lived from 1839 to 1937 in the United States and was famously known for his monopoly on oil production. The billionaire began investing in oil in 1864 and 17 years later managed to control more than 90% of the petroleum production in the United States. However, he was accused of engaging in predatory business practices that included lowering prices to put his competitors out of business and buying up railroads in order to control the entire chain of distribution and gain the monopoly he eventually obtained in the industry. By 1911, his company was found in violation of antitrust laws by the U.S. Supreme Court, and he was forced to close down most of the company. In spite of that, Rockefeller was a philanthropist and gave away more than $500 million to many noble causes. And there are even grants in his name to this day. Around the time of his death, John D. Rockefeller was found to be worth more than $1.5 billion, which summed up to be around 2% of the United States GDP at the time. When you equate that in dollars today, you have the enormous amount of $355 billion. Number two, Jakob Fugger. 
Our next man on the list is a German banker who was a kingmaker. He financed entire kingdoms and had popes and bishops under his payroll. His name was Jakob Fugger, and he was a very rich man who lived from 1459 to 1525. As the grandson of a poor man, Jacob managed to convince the royal class to make for-profit lending, and the schemes he established on that premise arguably initiated the religious revolt that we now know as Protestantism. He single-handedly made Charles V of Spain as influential as Napoleon, and indirectly influenced several kingdoms while remaining a monk. Even though he never stayed in a monastery, his net worth at the time of his death was $400 billion, and that accounted for 2% of Europe's entire GDP. He was so wealthy that people called him Fugger the Rich. Number 1. Genghis Khan No list about historical wealth would be complete without Genghis Khan, whose life was mainly spent amassing land. As one of the greatest military leaders of the Mongol Empire in the 13th century, he led his armies in a conquest that conquered most of the ancient China and Europe, controlling large numbers of kingdoms and empires. Genghis Khan, who was born in 1162, was notably generous and would also share the spoils with his soldiers, never really keeping anything for himself. After he conquered many kingdoms, he made sure that all the items recovered were properly recorded and shared amongst the soldiers and their families. He was surprisingly humble when compared to other conquerors, and when he died in 1227, he had no monetary wealth to his name. Historical wealth is often hard to correctly determine. There could have been richer, more discreet individuals in our past who are forever lost to history. Do you think these individuals deserve this wealth? Did we miss any that should have been on this list? Let us know in the comment section below. Also, be sure to leave a thumbs up if you like this video, and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next one.